Hello, students. I am Vidya from English Magus. Welcome to today's poetry lesson. We'll be discussing The Voice of the Rain by Walt Whitman, a beautiful poem that personifies rain and explores its eternal cycle and connection with life. Through this dialogue between the speaker and the rain, Whitman highlights the importance of nature and its role in sustaining life. Let's take a closer look by knowing a little about the poet. Walt Whitman, born on 31st May 1819, was an American poet, essayist, and journalist. He is best known for his groundbreaking collection, Leaves of Grass, which celebrates democracy, nature, love, and friendship. Whitman's free verse and transcendentalist themes revolutionized American poetry, earning him the title, Bard of Democracy. He died on 26th March 1892. Before we discuss the poem, let's recite the poem. And who art thou? said I to the soft falling shower, which, strange to tell, gave me an answer, as here translated. I am the poem of earth, said the voice of the rain. Eternal I rise impalpable out of the land and the bottomless sea, upward to heaven, whence, vaguely formed, altogether, changed, and yet the same. I descend to lave the droughts, atomies, dust layers of the globe. and all that in them without me were seeds only latent unborn and forever by day and night i give back life to my own origin and make pure and beautify it for song issuing from its birthplace after fulfillment wandering rector and rect duly with love returns let's discuss each stanza now the poem begins with the speaker asking the rain who art thou which means who are you this question is immediately answered by the rain itself in a personified form It identifies itself as the poem of earth. This phrase suggests that rain, like poetry, is a natural, beautiful, and essential part of life on earth. The rain explains its eternal cycle. It rises from the land and the sea in an impalpable, invisible form. The phrase altogether changed and yet the same refers to the transformation of water vapor as it ascends to the sky and forms clouds. Though the form changes, it is still rain. In the second stanza The rain continues its explanation, describing how it descends from the sky to lave the droughts, atomies, dust layers of the globe. In simpler terms, it cleanses and refreshes the earth, quenching dry lands and washing away dust. The rain helps life to grow, as seeds that would otherwise remain dormant are brought to life through its nurturing presence. This stanza emphasizes the role of rain as a life giver. Without rain, the seeds remain latent, unborn. It is through rain that the earth flourishes. Finally, the rain explains its eternal cycle. Forever, by day and night, I give back life to my own origin. Rain returns to the earth and the sea, completing the cycle and purifying the world in the process. Whitman draws a comparison between rain and a song. Just like rain, a song originates from the heart, fulfills its purpose, and eventually returns to where it started, whether appreciated or not. The line rector and rect Duly with love returns suggests that both rain and poetry are selfless in their purpose returning to their origins with love regardless of whether they are acknowledged or not now let's summarize the key themes of the voice of the rain first theme is the cycle of nature the poem highlights the eternal cyclical nature of rain and its role in sustaining life on earth it is part of a continuous process that renews and purifies the earth second theme is unity of nature and art whitman compares rain to poetry suggesting that both are natural, essential, and vital forces that nourish and beautify the world. And the third theme is selfless fulfillment. Both rain and poetry fulfill their purposes and return to their origins, with or without recognition. This theme speaks to the idea of selfless giving in nature and art. The tone of the poem is calm and reverent. Through the voice of the rain, Whitman conveys a sense of offer nature and its harmonious, never-ending cycle. The rain's gentle explanation gives the poem a peaceful reflective mood let's take a moment to discuss the symbolism in the poem the rain symbolizes renewal life and the natural cycle of existence it is a force that sustains and purifies the earth just as art nourishes the human spirit poetry is symbolized through the comparison to rain suggesting that poetry like nature is eternal pure and life-giving in conclusion The Voice of the Rain by Walt Whitman is a profound reflection on the interconnectedness of nature and art. Through the personification of rain, Whitman illustrates how both rain and poetry are vital, cyclical forces that nurture life and return to their origins, completing a beautiful and eternal cycle. The explanation ends here. Here is the list of figures of speeches used in the poem. 
pause the video and read it. Thank you for joining me today as we explored this fascinating poem. If you found this explanation helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more poetry lessons. And if you have any thoughts or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next lesson.